Hey my sassies, welcome back to Projections of Sassiness, where projects and sassiness go hand in hand. I hope you guys are doing great this weekend. I had a, another video, but I need to get my coupon code before I post that one. I was going to actually do this one after that. But we are here now because I'm excited to show you this eyebrow stamp that I got. So this is a game changer. It's going to take you guys only about two minutes, if that, to do your eyebrows. And who hates having to draw in your eyebrows, line them up right, make sure that they're right at the points here and at the ends, the tails are not too short or not too long. You know, we don't got time for that. So this is going to help you guys out. I mean, we can just get up and do this real quick and not have to spend a whole lot of time because I don't like to spend a whole lot of time on my face, beating my face. So uh, let's get into this video, y'all. Watch the video all the way through. As always, like, comment, give me a big thumbs up. It helps me with my channel. And share these videos, you guys. If you see anything that you like, always hit me up down in the comments. And yeah, let's get into it. Without further ado, let's go. All right, so I come before you with undone eyebrows as everyone can see so my eyebrows are scarce right in here i think one is longer than the other or higher than the other i don't know um i did get them microbladed a while ago this is over a year ago but i never went back for my second session because y'all mm -mm, i'm a baby and i didn't want to go through that pain no more <laughs> let's do something easy quick simple and gets the job done so let me show you what i found from amazon all right, so first things first, it just comes just like this. It only came in an Amazon like shipping envelope, and this was on the inside here. So it's called Mad Love, and I believe it's the brow stamper and templates. So um, I will put information down in the description. I'll put the actual link to these down in the description because there's other brands and everything, but I've heard that these are one of the better ones um so uh, the cost and everything will be down in the description and let me get into what comes into this little handy dandy pouch here all right so inside we're gonna have a little mad love card with a scanner on the back a uh, qr code qr code on the back so that you can scan and get this little um tutorial video if you want to look at the tutorial but i mean it's uh easy peasy it's pretty self-explanatory you're gonna take your stamp which is this here see that and it comes with your templates here so different brow templates stencils brow stamp and stencils here Again, there's a, a QR code here that'll walk you through any questions that you have with application. Inside contains your stencils and they've got a variety of stencils. So we're gonna run through these really quick. <clears throat> and, excuse me, still got the COVID, the ending of the COVID going on. <clears throat> all right, they come with all these different stencils. This one here, and they have um, numbers on the corners here. So you can figure out which one of them that you just cannot go without. I don't know, I have that too close, sorry. So yeah, stencils here, here, this one here. This one is really nice. It has a really high arch on it there. And then they go from like, skinny this one's a, like a skinnier size and thicker sizes which is here look how pretty that is that's just a pretty eyebrow form that one's nice too see that there and oh this one's really skinny look at this one so whatever your look, whatever look you're going for, day look, night look, there's a stencil in here that'll work for the eyebrows. All right, so let's get to doing our eyebrows. Let me see. I just had my spoolie. I was all ready, and then, of course, it's uh, 
go time and I don't know where none of my stuff is. So first I'm just gonna take my little brush. Oh, it comes with a spoolie too. I don't know where it is, but it does come with that. And we're just gonna brush the eyebrows. Let them all be tamed and go the same way, right? Ooh, brush my eye, my eyeball out. Okay. And that's that. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Next, I like stencil number three, and I used it this morning, and I don't know what I did with it. So let's find an alternative. Um, I think I like... I think I like this one here. So I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to go with stencil number four. So here are the numbers right on the corner here. So you've got one through, I believe, five. Five stencils are here. Okay. So how do you guys do your eyebrows? Do you... Child, do y'all hear all that yelling? The disrespect. They know I'm filming. That's hubby and dad out there watching the college football game. Sorry about all the noise, y'all. Stencil them in, or do you use your brow pencil and just pencil them in? Um, some people have, you know, that brow mascara. Kind of like a mascara wand, and you can do it that way. I've tried that before. Um, I've tried, what else? Um, I've tried, you know just your eyebrow brush, right? And then eyebrow, this is just like a cheeky little eyebrow. What is this? Eyebrow, Precise Brows Eyebrow Palette. So they've got some powders and they've got the like creams here too, which I need to clean this, but yeah, I've done that too. This takes a lot of time though, because you know, you're trying to make sure that you have it drawn correctly and that they're even and everything. So the stencils take all that guesswork out and then it just helps you form. So what you do is if you can tell, right, oh, sorry, right here are lines where you can line up where you want, how long you want it to be. You can make them short and stop here or you can go longer here. So you're gonna line the tail your tail right here, right? Like that. And then you can either go to this first line or the second line. And I'm scared of this one. It's kinda, it's kinda big. Don't look at my nails, y'all. I broke my nails. I've been hard on these nails. Okay, so yeah, we'll do that. And then we just gotta make sure that we're lined up the same area on this side. All right, so what we're gonna do is just hold this like this. <clears throat> You're gonna take your stamper and it looks just like this. And what happens is the brow coloring is right inside of the lid here. So I like to put it in there and kind of jiggle it to make sure that it's covered on the application pad. All right, so once that's covered, I have that lined up again. Let's make sure. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the end here and I'm just gonna tap on the tail and follow through inward all the way to the inner brow. Once I get to this side here, I'm gonna not tap as hard. I'm gonna kind of do a light tap so that it can kind of have that, or that it can have that shaded look. And go over again, darker on this side. And that looks good to me. Give me a moment, I'm just gonna look over in the mirror here. Yeah. That looks good. Okay. All right. And then I'm just going to remove this and look at that eyebrow, yo. <laughs> that is cute. What do you guys think? Now I'm going to clean it up, but look at that shape in less. What was that? Like less than a minute. Yes. 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 
All right, now when you're ready to do the other eye, sassies, remember to clean this off. You don't wanna have this all up and around and all over the other eye. So we're gonna take a wipe and we're gonna clean that off, right? Because all we're doing is flipping this from this way to this way now to do the other eye. Now, this is where it's a little tricky for me because I think this eye, my eyebrow is arched higher on this side already. Uh, we gonna see if she gonna comprehend, if she gonna work with us. Um, We'll go here, right? And actually I wanna do the tail first. The tail there and there. And I'm looking here and here to make sure that I don't have this up too high or too low. And I think that looks good. Mm -hmm. Okay, same thing. We're gonna take our stamp, just try to cover the application pad and go from the tail end with harder taps inward and then lighten up on the taps into the inner side of the brow. Okay, repeating that on the end here. I'm gonna tap this just a little bit more because I see some light spots right in there. Yeah, this congestion from COVID just, I'm feeling better. I'm getting a little bit of the headaches still, uh, but the congestion don't just, it just don't wanna leave. It likes being warm and cozy all up in there, I guess. Huh. All right, so let's take this off. Okay, okay. Hmm. I think it is a little bit higher here, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that is just cute and didn't take that long of a time at all. I'm gonna clean these up just a little bit. You know, if you guys do tend to not put them on straight, or you see one's a little bit higher than the other, we can always clean that up. I'm gonna um, take some concealer, if I can find some concealer. <clears throat> and I may have to look over here for a minute because it's hard to see what I'm doing or, you know, see in this little screen here. So here, I'm just going to Oh, okay, see, it looks it looks better here in this view. Over here, it looks like I'm doing one of the rocks thing, right? No, no. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my concealer, right? Just some little concealer here onto my brush and I'm gonna clean up the tops. Okay. Just like that there. Same thing. Let me do that over here. I'm gonna take my finer brush, which I just had that too. Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> oh gosh. Okay, I'm gonna take this finer brush here and just blend this in more. And I just take that concealer that I have on the top, blend it in, and then bring it in right here on the inner part of the brow to make that shape. All right. There. I 
I got a little uh, white glow going on a little bit. I'm just going to take a little bit of my foundation here just to hit that glow a little bit. That glow from the concealer, I want to just make sure that's not too bright. And there you go. There are done eyebrows in less than five minutes. I mean, I cleaned up and everything, so it took a little bit longer, y'all. Yeah. But you get my point, right? It only took like a minute to put the actual stencil on the brow and get that bold, arched look just like that. And yeah, what do you guys think? I think this is going to be so much more helpful for me. It'll get me out of the mirror faster than before because I just don't like to take a whole lot of time. You know, I think you take all that time and you go outside and you sweat or, you know, it's cold and you wrapping yourself up anyway. So, mm -mm, ain't nobody got time for that. Hey, y'all. So, leave me comments. Tell me what you think about this. Again, everything will be down in the description area. Oh, let me show you too. It's um not, you can put a primer on to try to, you know, keep it on, but they don't wipe off that easily. Like, you look at that. It's, it's not like it comes right off or anything like that. You know, just a little bit there. So, you won't, I can wear this all day. I think uh, yesterday, that yesterday, the day before, it was eight hours. I went to work and everything. Well, I was from home, but... I went to work and it was still just was like, I had to set it. <clears throat> so, all you're gonna do is take some makeup or wipes, baby wipes, when you're ready to take them off and simply remove the stuff or the brow powder. Easy. See? Done. Not done. Done. Not done. Okay. So. Oh, it's this side better. <laughs> All right, you guys. That is it for me. Thank you for watching today. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until the next one, stay safe, stay blessed, and remember, y'all, always stay sassy.